How to Think Like a Billionaire by Donald Trump. Uh, this is a yeah, book review. Uh, this is part of my scripted book review series, the premise of which is I'm going through my blog archives to kind of dig up all the book reviews I've written in the past kind of 15 years and uh, make YouTube videos out of them for whatever it's worth. Now, this is something, right, Donald Trump, I wrote this book review in 2005, and uh, of course, at the time, Donald Trump was, things have changed, right? He's, uh, he's president now. Back in 2005, I had no idea he would ever be president. In fact, as far as I can remember, I don't think he was much of a political figure in 2005. Now, I, I absolutely hated his book, as you're going to kind of see from this book review. But uh, I don't want you to think that I've kind of gone back and rewritten this because I don't like his presidency. This, this, is, this is me not liking his book in 2005. So I was uh, stumbled upon this book. I, I did the audiobook version because a friend in Japan and I were exchanging audiobooks. And he had a couple audiobooks with him. He had one by the Dalai Lama, How to Find Joy and Meaning in Your Work. And then he had How to Think Like a Billionaire by Donald Trump. And he asked me which one I wanted to borrow. Now, at this time, I was going through this kick where I was trying to kind of be more financially responsible after kind of a prolonged period of irresponsibility. Uh, and I wanted to kind of get some kind of handle on how to manage finances or I was thinking kind of something to make money. I didn't like, I didn't want to be like a billionaire, but I wanted to pick up like a few useful tips about like how to successfully make some money or manage it. So I said, yeah, give me the Donald Trump book. That sounds useful. Uh, and uh, besides like, what does a Dalai Lama know about how to find joy and meaning in your work? So I took the Donald Trump book home, listened to it on audiobook, and then this is the review I wrote at the time. Boy, is that Donald Trump guy an asshole. I didn't learn a single useful thing from his whole, from, from his whole book. The whole thing is just him talking about how great he is. And I mean the whole whole book is like that. In fact, almost every paragraph contains in it something that evokes the memory of Monty Burns writing his autobiography. Yeah, you remember that episode of The Simpsons? Monty Burns is writing his autobiography and he writes, in closing, dear reader, I would like to thank you. What's that you say? A misprint? Me? Thank you? Yes, for you see, I have enjoyed writing this book almost as much as you have enjoyed reading it. I'm quoting from memory, but, but it was something like that in the Simpsons episode. That kind of tone of this just very kind of self-serving author who just kind of took the reader for granted was just all throughout this book. And that, plus, the guy they, they got to read this audiobook for the CD sounds amazingly like Troy McClure from The Simpsons, which makes the whole thing just an excellent parody of itself. And once I clued in that the thing was just kind of like self-parody, then I really enjoyed it a lot more. Donald Trump talks about The Apprentice a lot which I've never seen because I've been in Japan the past four years. Maybe I would have gotten more out of the book if I had seen The Apprentice. I don't know.